Hello and welcome to Viking Views. I'm Randy Beck. The Missouri Valley College Student Activity Center is making a change, starting with its name. Viking Views' Guillermo Amasquita has the story on the new look of Student Affairs. Student Affairs made the transition of becoming the new CAC. Ashley Jackson explains. Well, CAC stands for Campus Activity Council. Um, it's an organization that is student-led for all our activities and events that go on on campus. Many other schools, they have them. Um, at one point, they were called Student Activities Council or Committee. Um, but then a lot of schools transitioned into making it a Campus Activity Board. Ashley Jackson says there's plenty of activities to look forward to this semester. Valley's Got Talent, um, that's one of the events that Campus Activity Council is putting on. So we also have another movie night coming up, um, and then we have that spring week full of different events, including like the Royals baseball game again, um, and some other things that I don't want to disclose, but there's some great things coming up. The meetings for the CAC are every Wednesday at noon in the Malcolm Center. The meetings usually last about 45 minutes. Guillermo Mesquita, Viking Views. Future events for Missouri Valley College include MVC Fear Factor, MVC Faculty Concert, and Valley's Got Talent. Students got a taste of culture Sunday night as the Black Student Union hosted its first Soul Food Night dinner. Faculty, staff, and students gathered in the Charles Bacon Room for a variety of soul foods. Students had the opportunity to purchase tickets during the week for $3 apiece. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, and fried fish were the main dishes with cornbread and Kool-Aid on the side. Students can be on the lookout for more upcoming events from the Black Student Union by checking the Pavi app. Missouri Valley College's Repertory Dance Ensemble presented its annual dance concert in the Meckleson Maybe Theater. Viking Views' Beatrice Salas reports on the event and how the dancers prepared for it. College annual dance concert included modern dance, jazz, comedy ballet, tap, ballroom, and a featured choreography by guests Moreno and Andre. The concert also featured an original composition by MVC students Justin Weathers, played live by David Walker, Mallory Pearson, and Professor Christine Paulson, and a special alumni dance. People could benefit from not only the message that it brings, but the combination of movement with music. I think that it's really important for people to be exposed to stuff like that because it makes you feel something in a different way than just an explanation of something would make you feel like just listening to somebody speak about something or watching a video about it. It, it makes you feel differently. It makes you, it brings up different emotions. Oh, my chains won't come. Oh, yes it will. It's been too it makes me happy to dance. It's energizing, it's happiness and love and movement, it's everything. We practiced from beginning a week before school started in August and then um, we, we have class that is um, Tuesday, Thursday and so we practice during that time. And then sometimes we practice on the weekends and then we came back um, before school started in December as well to practice during that week. And then it, it got like more and more as we went on. Beatriz Salles, Viking Views. The dancers are now preparing to perform at the American College Dance Association and at Disney World. The dancers at Missouri Valley College are preparing for future performances, but as Viking View's Alexis McMillan reports, one of those dancers is preparing to say goodbye to her MVC dancing career. Senior Diamond Ross has been here at Valley for three years and says it's bittersweet that it's all coming to an end. I definitely was excited for it to all be over, but I also know that, you know, I'm going to miss it for sure. and. I have loved this journey that I've gone on with the dancers. Not always a Viking, Ross says she feels she made the right decision transferring. I really enjoy the diversity here on this campus. I love the small 
intimate classroom settings, and I really enjoy my experience here. Majoring in dance, Ross has been dancing since age three and plans to keep dance a part of her life. I plan on graduating in May and attending Chicago Theological Seminary in August, where I will be getting my Master's in Divinity. I plan on incorporating my undergrad, which is dance, and my um, Master's. Um, there's a dance company that I plan on taking over. It is a non-profit Christian dance company, and so that is my plan. Although Ross's road is coming to an end, she says if there was ever a chance to come back, she would. I will always have, you know, a heart for this school, for the campus, for the dance department. Um, if there's ever time for, you know, alumni to come and dance or anything, yes, I'm always down. My advice for incoming freshmen would definitely just be to have fun, make it what you want, you know, um, enjoy your stay. Like, it is being in a small town, you know, you have to, if Walmart is that trip, that's make that the best trip. Ross says she has truly enjoyed her time here at Valley and is ready to start a new chapter in her life. Alexis McMillan, Viking Views. The dancers will perform next with the choir in the Spring Choir Show in April. Some Missouri Valley College students are getting a taste of what it's like to make the theater production come to life. Viking Views Nathan Gertz went behind the scenes to get the story. Students in the Directing One class offered by the Theater Department at Missouri Valley College are directing their own 10-minute scenes for their midterm project. The student directors include Tyrone Harris, Allie Taylor, and Johanna Thomas. Thomas says she has found the experience both enjoyable and frustrating. Um, the fun part is like working with other people because a lot of times in school you don't get an opportunity for group stuff and it's just different to be able to finally work with other people and bring something together. And the difficult part is finding time for everybody to get together. Um, everybody's got a different schedule and everybody has their own extracurricular activities they do and it's hard to get everybody together at the same time to do it. All three students hope the experiments they are adding while directing for the first time will entertain audiences. I've never directed before so the blocking was really hard for me. I didn't know really how to use the stage. And uh, what's really fun is watching my actors come to life on stage. Uh, stuff that you find out while the actors are uh, performing, that's one of the things I found out as a director and when you find these out you can exploit them so that you can make them better or you can use like something that you notice that hinders them and get it out the way so that it can increase their progression as performers. When you've been the person auditioning, you have to think about what are the things that you wanted to hear from the director and what are the things that you were looking for as an actor. Uh, I hope they react to some of the uh, reactions that I've made the characters have towards each other, the conversations. I try my best to make the dialogue that is already given to me by the script seem more realistic. I hope that they feel that these characters really are breaking up, that I want them to feel the tension and the sadness that's happening with these two characters. All that's left is for the audience to see what's behind the curtain. Nathan Gertz, Viking Views. Audiences can see this, the scenes performed March 1st starting at 10.50 in the morning in the Met behind McDonald Hall. Missouri Valley College held its Valley Scout Talent February 22nd, giving the students a chance to bring their best to light. A $500 gift card is now in the line for six students as they prepare for the final round of Valley's Got Talent. Last night, 13 students took the stage at the Eccleson Maybe Theater for the annual Valley's Got Talent Talent Show. Judge Diana Malin says all the acts were great, but one of them took the cake for her. There were several really good ones, but um, I have to say if I had to choose one, Kayla uh, Williams just blew it away. 
Singing, dancing, rapping, and juggling can be expected in the final round of the show. The next round of Valley's Got Talent is Monday, February 29th. That's Viking Views for this week. I'm Randy Beck. Thanks for watching.